last week we did some awesome paint pouring. This is how it came out, pretty cool. And this week what we're going to be working on is a Van Gogh type art. And to do that, we are gonna use some tools that hopefully you all have available in your own homes. So what you'll need is some shaving cream. You'll need some food coloring of various colors. You will need a shish kebab stick or the end of a paintbrush, something with a flat head like that. And then you will need a scraper because we're gonna have to scrape the shaving cream off. If you don't have one of these fancy scrapers, a piece of cardboard works perfectly. Um, and it's actually even better because you can throw it in the trash after. And then lastly, what you'll need is a piece of paper, uh, preferably something that's thicker. So I am using watercolor paper. All right, so let's begin. I'll show you how it's done. We're gonna start off with our shaving cream and we're just gonna put a nice thin layer on here. So you don't want it to be too thick, because if it's too thick, it won't work. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a nice, good amount on there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little scraping tool and we're just going to make sure that it is evenly kind of layered around. So just wanna make sure that there's a nice even layer on here. And then I wanna make sure that it touches all the edges of the paper because I do want color everywhere. So nice layer all the way around. Um, again, if you don't have a scraper, you can just use a piece of cardboard. Cardboard works great. By all means, steal your husband, your fiance, your brother, your, your cousin's shaving cream. They won't mind. <laughs> All right, so now that I get a thin layer, my paper's under there somewhere. Let me go ahead and wipe the shaving cream off here. And let's begin. So I'm going to start with blue. I'm going to put some blue in my sky over here. Oops. I'm going to do some rolling hills over here. I'm going to put that same color green down here in my grass. And I'm going to take the other shade of green. I'm going to put that in my grass as well. My grass is somewhere down here. The end of my paper is kind of lost, but that's totally okay. It's just going to add to the fun of the design here. Uh, I am going to take yellow. I'm going to do a nice moon over here. Nice crescent moon, some stars. And then I don't have purple, um, I don't have a purple food coloring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some acrylic paint and I'm just going to do some red mountains here. And then I'm going to go back over the red mountains with my blue acrylic paint and hope that I can make a pretty purple, uh, hopefully. I have enough blue because blue and red make purple even if they're like a nice pink color that's okay with me all right so that is what it is that's what I got I'm gonna start with my moon I'm just gonna start swirling here you just need to make sure that your whatever you're using whether it be um, the back of a paintbrush or a shish kebab stick or even a um, chopstick it just comes in contact with the paper you want it flat that's how this is really really gonna work so I'm gonna make sure my crescent moon looks pretty cool just swirl my stars and I found the edge of my paper alrighty so swirling the stars around I like the fact that um, there's two different tools, so I'm, I'm gonna swirl with both just for 
safety's sake, make sure it comes into contact with the paper pretty good. And because this has a small end and this has a large end, and I'm hoping it'll make a cooler design too. All right, so I'm gonna clean off both tools. Actually, I'm not gonna clean this off, so I'm gonna go right to the grass here. And swirl my grass together, get those colors mixed up. I'm gonna go for some long grass. 